In terms of the work you've done in, in encouraging people to get more computer literate, adults as returning learners, getting education right in schools, what happens to the UK if we don't get that right, if we aren't teaching tech properly? Yeah, I mean, it's happening. I don't mean to be pessimistic, but this is very, very urgent, you know, particularly in a post-Brexit UK. We are going to need to have the most forward-facing uh, skilled workforce that we possibly can, or we're not going to be able to be resilient in the way that I think we're going to need to be. And it's not just about learning how to code, but to me it's about feeling as though we have a digitally resilient society, that we put uh, these skills at the heart of how we think about our transformation. So, for example, you know, um, if we look at the institutions in which we live and work and operate, you know, the health service, the education system, um, you know, even our infrastructure and transport, for example, it would be very hard to argue that we are fit for purpose for 2019 when we have so many different opportunities to think, reimagine healthcare, reimagine education, reimagine transport. So that comes partly, yes, from our political leadership and from how we, uh, you know, the policies we create, but it also comes from us as individuals being resilient and savvy and learning and not just about coding, but about using the tools that we have for what they're meant to, for how they were designed for 2019. And I think that part of that is education, but part of that is uh, everybody challenging themselves a bit to think, am I really engaged in the debates of the modern age in the way that I need to be? And do you think as somebody who argued very strongly against Brexit, um, and who's arguing now that it, it takes people to change tech, that um, ending free movement of people across Europe and those people that can come to the UK to help build a tech industry, that, that this is going to have an impact? It, it will certainly have an impact. You know, it's very hard to know exactly what. I believe it will be pretty bad because at the moment we have, I think it's 600,000 empty jobs in the UK tech sector. It's forecast to go up to a million by... Uh, 2021, 2020, 2020, 2021. Uh, we can't fill those only from our own workforce. I wish we could. You know, that would be my urgent priority if I was Prime Minister. Um, so we need to be able to fill them from all over the world, not just Europe, but everywhere. Um, but I think for me, free movement goes to something beyond just filling tech jobs. You know, it's a fundamental notion that we are better and stronger when we collaborate and allow people to travel and share their skills. And, you know, I understand why people who voted for Brexit feel as though they do not want to have uh, people coming from other places into what might feel like a fractured bit of society or where they live or whatever it might, whatever it might be. But... You know, that's a short-term way, and I think that we need to build resilience through collaboration and spreading of ideas and sharing of skills rather than shutting that down.